Have you ever wondered how much money you need to make to buy a house like this, or this, or even this in South Africa? Wonder no longer, because today I will cover exactly how much income it takes to rent and buy a typical home based on today's interest rate and lender's guide. And chances are, it's not going to be what you expect. And finally, the results are pretty surprising, not to mention. What up, Legacy Builders? I'm Echo Kregri. And before we get into it, please do me a quick favor and hit the like button. It gives me a really good indication if these are the type of videos you'd like to see more of. And also, it really helps to get this video spread out there to more people like you. So if you wouldn't mind, thank you so much for subscribing. That helps too. Let's go. First, let's start with how much income it takes to rent a home. Please watch this part before you watch the buying a home part of this video. I guarantee you that this will save you a ton of your time. So when it comes to renting a place, there's a rule of thumb out there that your rent should not exceed more than 30% of your gross income. So if you make 25,000 a month, you multiply that by 30% and you will have 7,500 a month on rent that you can afford. At 50,000, that means you can afford 15,000 rent a month, and at 80,000, you should be able to afford 24,000 rent a month. This rule was initially recommended so that you could have some money left over for things like living expenses, utilities, transport, etc. after you've paid your rent. There are a couple of issues with the 30% rule. Firstly, it doesn't really consider some of your other debts such as your credit card debt or your car loan debt. Let's say you take home 30,000 a month. In this example, according to the rule, you would spend 9,000 a month on rent. And that means you have 21,000 to live on for the rest of the month after rent. That seems like plenty, but if you have an education bill or perhaps credit card payment, transport, groceries, and electricity amounting to 20,000 a month, you can see how quickly this take home pay after rent will shrink. Another problem with the 30% rule is that the average rent price in South Africa is 7,000 a month, and the average income in South Africa is between 20 to 25,000 a month, which means that there's a huge disparity in what people can afford and what they actually make. Now, when it comes to buying a home, there are basically two rules that lenders try and stick to. The first rule is called the 2836 rule. This rule is more about how much of a payment you actually qualify for in the eyes of the lender. And then the second rule is called the 3033 rule. That's designed to give you a guideline on what you should be able to afford. Let's cover what the 28 and 36 rule is. The 28 and 36 rule states that your monthly mortgage payment should not be more than 28% of your monthly gross income. So if you make 25,000 a month, that means you are going to multiply 25K by 28 and that should give you 7,000 per month. That is the mortgage payment that you can technically qualify for. At 50,000 a month, that payment comes down to 14,000 a month. And at 80,000 a month salary, it's 22,400 a month. That's the first part of the rule. The second part of the rule is the 36 rule. What that refers to is that your monthly mortgage payment plus all your other debts, for example, your credit card debt, your student loan, and your car loan, the entire payment together needs to be less than 36% of your monthly gross income. And that will get you approved for a mortgage. So on the top of the affordability, let's cover the 3033 rule. This is a much broader lending rule, which will tell you how much of a lot a house can you actually afford. The first 30 of this rule state that you should spend no more than 30% of your gross income on all your total income payment, and that includes your mortgage, your property taxes, and your insurance. When mortgage rates are lower, that means you can actually afford more of a home because 
when the interest rates are lower, then the mortgage payments are going to be low as well. And a 500,000 rent mortgage at 11.75% interest rate with a 20-year term, your monthly payment is 6,502. Your total bond and transfer cost will be 42,528. But for a 1 million home at the same interest rate is 10,837 a month with a total bond and transfer cost of 60,689 and so on. We dive deeper into this at our beginner property investor class. So visit propertyaskecho.com and book my free consultation. Don't forget to smash the like button. I wish you happy investing. Peace. Be a legacy builder and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.